Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another how to clone yourself effect in Camtasia 9. Alright guys, so I've got another video for you guys where I'm talking about cloning yourself, but it's going to be a little bit different from the first one. So the first one I did was right here, and as you can see in the thumbnail, there's two of me on either side, and I'm kind of like discussing with myself and talking to myself and having like this argument thing. Now that was the, the first kind of way, and I was testing out some stuff on the weekend, and I, find a, I found out how to do a cool effect that Arit actually brought up because we were filming some music videos of hers. We didn't end up using it, but I thought it would be cool to show you guys. So, as you can see here, there's Arit, and we're just testing some stuff out. Now I'm going to play the video for you guys, and then you can see the effect for yourself, and then I'm going to explain it after. Now this was just a test video guys, but as you can see, it looks like in the very beginning that there's one person, right? But then at the end, it turns into two people. Now that is the effect I'm talking about. So it's kind of like, it's still cloning yourself, but it's like splitting one person into two. And I didn't even know that uh, we could even do this until Arit actually brought it up. She said, hey, can we make it so that I... Originally she wanted three, but I, I was thinking about it and we tried it out and it, it only worked best when there was two people. So I'm going to show you guys... Well, first of all, I'm going to actually explain how we filmed this because if you don't film it correctly, then you're not going to be able to edit it correctly. So now the key here is to make sure that you stand in the same place, otherwise the placement of the person, it's not going to look like one person. Like right now, this looks like one person to the... If you're not paying attention, but it's actually two different clips, as you can see here down at the bottom. So I'm just going to run through the filming of how it was. So when you are filming, you need to make sure that you have a background that is not moving, and you need to just kind of center things. So on your camera, there's usually like a grid that you can pull up that shows the center and like different sections of the viewfinder. Make sure that you got the center and you know where it is. Like the center was like down here, right? And you need to get the subject, Arit in this case, to stand in the center of that line, the center of the camera. Because, and you need to make sure that she's also, like, her whole body's in the center. If she can't be from leaning to one side or the other, otherwise it's not going to work. So, basically, everything needs to be in the center. And I told her not to move until I counted. And you can hear me going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because I'm cueing her when to move. If you don't have the timing right then it's going it's not going to look very good when you are editing so i'll just play the first part again One, two, three, four, five. so at five she moved and then it like splits into two people so if you if you see that here it's now two and then originally it was one so you first thing you need to make sure tripod's not moving it's on a tripod your camera's on a tripod you're not holding it and that you've got like a still background and the subject and the person who are you who you are going to be filming that's going to be splitting into two they need to stand in the center and they need to not move until you count them in or whatever and then you need to film that twice over so I'm gonna show you here the first one was a very going to the right hand side and then the other one here is Avery going to the left hand side here. Now I'm going to just delete everything and I'm going to show you how I put this together. So I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to put this clip down and then the second clip. 
Now the reason why I say to count is so that you can match them up really easily. So as you can see, I did almost the same counting in each video. This one's actually a little bit sooner, but that's okay. This was just like a, a test example. So when you line up the two clips, one is going to be covering the other. So you need to reveal the other one by cropping it. So this is the clip where Arit is going over to the left. Now what I'm going to do is highlight it and head over to the crop button and I'm going to crop out half of the video. So as you can see, it's and, it, and you see, because I had it on a tripod and I didn't move anything, it's look, I'm like, it looks like I'm unveiling the exact same thing. And that's what you want. You want it to be basically identical up until she moves. So I've now taken it from here, bringing it down to the center. And that's why it still looks like the same person. I mean, if you really go up close, then you can be like, hey, it's like slightly off. But, you know, it still looks pretty cool. So once you've matched that up and you've matched the timing, then when she moves, then it then it's like, whoa, there's a two-person thing happening and there's two people in, in one shot and you've cloned yourself. So that's how you do another way of cloning yourself. I know that, you know, there's other ways too, like where you just walk into the footage, just like I did in the other video there. I just basically walked in on one side and then I walked in on the other side and then I was kind of like talking to myself. But I thought this one would be kind of cool to like do like a split where the person like splits into two people. So that is how you do the clone effect for this version. You basically stack the two videos up on each other and then you need to crop away the one that is on the top revealing the second layer so you have half this this first video is half and then the second one is the full one so that it looks like the same scene but there's actually two clips and one person splits into two. Alright guys, so that was how you do the clone effect in Camtasia 9. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos, head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free tutorials for you guys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.